Alright guys, so looking at a sweet new flashlight from Olight, the X7R Marauder. This baby has 12,000 lumens. It's incredible. has three of the new Cree XHP70 LEDs. Look at that baby. So I reviewed the X7, which was a beast. This is the new and improved version of that flashlight. It is waterproof up to IPX7, which we will actually test in the video and show you that it works just fine if you follow those guidelines. Um, guidelines for IPX7 are submerged up to one meter for up to 30 minutes. So if you submerge it longer or deeper, it probably might fail. And that's not what they're claiming. So there you go. Throw 380 meters, which is crazy. So the different, there's some interesting things with this flashlight. The previous X7, you could actually unscrew the light, get to the the, the batteries. This is actually four 18650s that are built in. So there is no way that I have found to take this flashlight apart, which is kind of weird and honestly not my favorite thing. This is the charging port in the back. You can see it's got this little cover. You twist it, and you've got a USB-C charger, which also comes with the charger. And I found that it charged pretty quick. The USB-C is a great technology. It's kind of new on Android phones and such these days. And it, it charges fast. So that's what's cool. Shut that and water should not get in. Now you can see I just pulled it out of the water. And we'll, I'll, I'll put in the water test here in a second. But um, it did pass. It was submerged for up to 30 minutes at way less than a meter. Whoa, we got on super bright mode. Hold on a second. It does have the memory function, so... And I'll do the beam test outside. You can see how crazy, what a flood this has. What a little pocket searchlight, essentially. So let's go ahead and get more into the specs. And this is the little manual it comes with. And you get your Marauder, adapter, USB cable, holster, lanyard, and user manual. The manual, the lanyard attachment is kind of cool. It's right here on the front. If you don't want to use it, it hides away if you want to use it. There you go. You can use it. It's got some nice grips. Uh, grips. It's got some nice um, grooves in the aluminum. And you can see it's been submerged, so this water just can kind of keep sucking. I have to keep wiping it off. <laughs> Sorry about that, but I did this a little out of sorts as far as how I usually would do the order of things. But the recent video by a fellow YouTuber, Drop Forge Survival, Chris Thorne, he actually got his to fail. Um, by freezing it and submerging it, um, I'm curious, way down response, how long he did that for. I feel like it was longer than the 30 minutes, which is past IPX7 standards, so I'm not surprised that it failed, but Olight is not marketing it that it's IPX8 or that it can go longer than those. So so let's go ahead and talk about your basic run times. Your nightlight mode, which can be accessed by holding down the switch for a few minutes, or not a few minutes, like 30 seconds is 10 lumens, um, and that lasts for 30 days. Your low mode is 500 lumens, which the low mode should be your default mode, unless you have it left on memory somewhere else. That will go for 14 hours. That's a ton of runtime. Your medium, one click. Oops, not one click, it's press. You get so many flashlights, you get used to the different. Um, is six hours on 1,000. High is 3,000, and I'm trying, this is broad, I mean, this is bright in here, and you can see this is still, Turbo is between 3,000 to 7,000 lumens, and that will last for up to 12 minutes at 7,000 lumens. And Turbo S is 12,000 lumens, which lasts for three minutes, um, which it's an insane amount of light. So I'm not expecting it to last longer than three minutes, and it gets pretty hot. And I'll talk about that in the um, when I bring in the beam shots. So to access the um, turbo mode, you would simply just double click this right out of it. So if you wanted to go right to it from the flashlight being off, right to 7,000 lumens, you just double click. If you want to go to the 12,000, you triple click. So that's, ooh, that's bright. And then you can go back to low mode. And if you want to go into strobe, it's three clicks, which I'll not do that too long because that is so freaking bright. So. Pretty um, nice interface. I do. I've always liked the Olight interface. It's pretty consistent across most of their flashlights, which is always nice because oh, 
Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I just was reading something. So, so you can change. Like I went over the brightness modes, the lightness mode, uh, direct access to turbo, double click the slide switch between turbo and turbo S. Strobe is triple click. You can you can lock the flashlight. Press and hold the side switch to access the button lockout mode, and you can lock it out. It actually comes locked out when you get the flashlight. And then there's also a motion sensor, which is interesting. It says shock the flashlight by tapping it on the table, picking it up, or waving it. The indicator on the center of the side switch will light up in, with a rhythm, mimicking people breathing. If the batteries have enough power, the indicator will show green, and if not, it will show red. I've actually seen this in motion. So right now, and it's gonna be hard to capture on camera I have a feeling but um, I've actually seen this work and I'm shaking water out feels like okay you can it's you can't really pick it up in daylight it's not very bright but it will sit there and pulse green letting you know that it has enough charge I, I've definitely seen it work maybe I can get it we'll t turn off some of these lights these excess filming lights that I use just to Kind of show you guys. And it's doing it, but you can't see it. So, anyway, it's not that big of a deal to like fuss about anyway. So, but it's a cool way to know that if you have enough battery. Oh, I can see it right here, but you can't see it because of the shadows. <laughs> it's doing it right now. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's it's kind of pulsing green. But anyway, it has a nice little battery uh, motion sensor indicator, which is pretty cool. So a very, very advanced flashlight from a light um, uh, again. So let's go ahead and roll in the um, footage of the beam tests and of the waterproof, and then we'll wrap up the video. Stay tuned. All right, we're outside with the X7R Marauder. This is low mode. I'm going to go through low that's off. Medium. That is high. So we haven't even entered into turbo or turbo S mode and look how bright this guy is. I mean it's like light up my entire backyard. Okay, so we're gonna focus on that tree a little bit. Let's see if we can get the camera to go up. Okay, that's turbo. And that is Turbo S, whopping 12,000 lumens, and it's like daylight out here. <laughs> Just to give you some contrast, that's how dark it was. And there's your strobe mode. So you you can get to the turbo mode by double pressing right out of the gates. And if you want to go to the Turbo S, you just press it again, then strobe for one more time. But look at that. Just lighting up. It's freaking impressive. But this whole, my whole backyard is just lit up. I can't even pan the camera out enough. Let's see if I can. Let me go to low mode. Conserve some battery here. Just moving the camera back. So kind of pan it out a little bit. Yeah, just went from <laughs> like daylight outside. This thing's nuts. Let me show you this tree up here. Completely illuminates that entire tree. And that was on Turbo, and that's Turbo S. That's the 12,000 lumen mode. Seriously, makes it like from night to daytime. Crazy. Flashlight does get a little warm <laughs> at 12,000 lumens, but that's to be expected. Give you a kind of idea of this flood. This is my whole comes my dog. Back side of my house is lit up. This is just on low. No, that was on high. That's low. Medium. High. Turbo. Turbo S. So it lights up my entire house, like the roof, everything. Insane. This big tree up here. That's just a crazy amount of light. Literally a pocket searchlight. It does get pretty warm at 12,000. Not gonna, not gonna lie. 
All right, so we're doing a waterproof test this time on the Olight X7 Armorator. Fellow YouTuber Chris Thorne, Drought Force Survival, got his in and uh, tested it in water and actually failed. Um, well, he can't get his light to charge, turn back on or anything. So I decided to submerge it fully in water. I'll leave it in there for a while. I um, may put it in the freezer like he did just to see what happens. Maybe I won't do the freezer actually, since he did the freezer and that made it fail. Maybe it, that's what made it fail, not the waterproof test. I don't know. So let's just leave it. We'll leave it in the water for a while, uh, probably like an hour or so, and see how it does. All right. So it's been well, twenty nine minutes. I started at nine o'clock. It's nine. No, excuse me, nine thirty, and it's almost ten. You can see the flashlight is still on. It's been fully submerged this whole time. So I would say that it does meet the IPX7 waterproof standard, which is submerged up to one meter, which obviously that's less. I'm going to turn the light off now. Dry it off. For up to 30 minutes. So if you do a test and you're, I don't, I don't know how long Chris Thorne put his in for, to be honest. I don't know if it was longer than 30 minutes. I know he froze it. Which to me seems like it would be longer than 30 minutes because getting it to freeze in less than 30 minutes would be kind of, I don't know, maybe it wouldn't be unlikely. I haven't done that kind of a test in a while. But for me, it's, it meets the standard. I mean, it's 30 minutes up to one meter. Not any longer than 30 minutes submerged. Look, it still works just fine. Good night, that's so bright. So, for me it passes the test, maybe... Maybe he submerged his too long, maybe it was the freezing, or maybe he did have a lemon. But this is supposed to, when you shut this little compartment here, to charge it. See, that's completely dry in there. That's supposed to keep it um, waterproof. I don't see an O-ring or anything in there like he mentioned, but it worked just fine for me. So, there you go. Okay, so you saw the uh, beam shots, which are quite impressive. Just completely illuminated my entire yard when it was pitch black outside. Um... You can also see in the, the water test that it did just fine. Get this lighting back up. So, let's see how much it weighs. Because it is kind of a porky little bugger. Eh, it's not horrible. One pound, 7.3 ounces. It's not the lightest flashlight in the world. But considering how bright it is for how compact it is, it's I think that's an acceptable weight. Um, you have do have four 18650s as your battery. So, it is going to be kind of heavy. Um, it feels good in the hand. It's not too large. Not too wide, it's easy to grip. Um, I wouldn't mind it actually be a little bit longer even. I get there trying to go compact with this, but giving it a little bit more length would give you a little bit more, some more to hold on to. Uh, the liner attachment works good. They did it like this so you could put thicker cord through it as well. Um, so if you want to run some paracord, you have a pretty generous hole there. It's about as far as it comes out though. So, another great product from Olight, the X7R Marauder. Um, you're looking at about $300 for this flashlight. It is not cheap, but when you get up into that <laughs> high, high lumen count, you can't expect anything less. It's going to be expensive. So I will link in the description below um, where you can buy this light. Um, I believe they were just on pre-order. Let me just double check real quick to see if they're actually now available. I know they've been sending them out for review and such, but I wanted to see if you can actually purchase these. I think they're 300 bucks. $279.95 at Battery Junction. Um, I believe the Olight store, they're going to be about the same. Olight store does prices, or just prices, um, sales quite frequently. So, but you're looking around the $300 mark. It is on pre-order for $279.95, so $280, even on the Olight store. And they're due to be delivered August 25th. So they're coming up soon, guys. Definitely, if you're into flashlights, want a super bright pocket searchlight, um, spotlight, you've got it right here. The charging thing works great. It did, it did meet up to the IPX7 standard, at least in my test. So take that for what, what it's worth. I think you're always going to have a, a lemon, but I don't know that his was a lemon or if he just tested it past what it's designed to do. I'm not sure, so... Alright guys, thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next one.